Welcome back, everybody. Our next guest is known as the architect of rock and roll. He has a lifetime achievement Grammy and is a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This is Little Richard. Sir. Can I tell you what an honour it is for me to for you for you to be on this show? Are for you me, for England? you to be on the show. I'm from Scotland. Oh, I'm not here. I was listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Scotland. Oh, it's yeah. near England. Yes. Yeah. And we have rock and roll in Scotland. And though. I played there, but I played uh, uh, Glasgow. Oh, yeah, I'm I from play, there. I, I played all through there. Yeah, did you like Glasgow? Yeah, I'm, I'm, in fact, I'm playing there in, um, in May. I'll be there in May. Right. Uh -huh. uh, so a lot of the folks here will probably be there. <laughs> <laughs> <And they're> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Shut up. Okay. okay. <laughs> I always thought, I always thought that you were, you know, you were never given enough credit for being the architect, the architect of rock and roll, one of the, the, the major forces that invented rock and roll. Do you think that's right? I, I felt the same way. You got to remember that James Brown, I started James Brown, mm -hmm. Joe Tex. Jimi Hendrix was my guitar player yeah. at 18 years old. Billy Preston played organ for me. Now, I did not know that these people was going to be famous. Right. Billy Preston played, he was 13 years old. When I got James Brown, he had never recorded for nobody. Yeah. When Mick Jagger came with me, yeah. didn't nobody know him but his mama. Really? Uh, so, uh, so he was sleeping on, my on the floor. And Mick we, Jagger was sleeping we, on the we, floor? Yeah, we was touring Europe, me and uh, me, Everly Brothers and Bo Diddley. Right. And Mick Jagger came, and he had never met a famous person. Right. So he was sleeping on the floor. Then we went to Liverpool, and Brian Epstein... Epstein. He was the manager of the Beatles. Yes, right. His yeah. dad owned some record shops there. Right. And they sponsored me there in Liverpool for the concert. So the night of the concert, Brian brought all these boys, these bangs, yeah. uh, to see me. And uh, um, Paul wanted to show me that they could beat me singing Good Gollum Smiley. And, and so I said, I can't let you do that. Yeah. <laughs> Quite right. And so what, what, what he did was, so Brian said, well, what we'll do, Richard, we'll give you 50% of these boys if you take the tapes back to VJ Records. 50% of the 50 Beatles. 50% of the Beatles, but I didn't think they was going nowhere. Ah. See, see, and, and, and see, because we had the Everly Brothers with us, and they sound just like four Everly Brothers to me. <laughs> and so I said, well, we don't need four more. No, no, we already got two. And, and we got two we already. We got two, yeah. And so, but I didn't know that, so... Uh, uh, then I taken them with me to uh, Hamburg, Germany, in the Star Club, and they opened the shows for me. They would tour with That's me when and, the Beatles... and, and opened my show for me. The Beatles opened for That's you, right? Huh? And, but I didn't have things. And then when I heard them, when Paul called me and said, Richard, we're famous. How did he know? Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go again. Yeah. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> so, what, 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 what I did was, I, I got him over there, and when I got him, he just, they, they, they became just so... Uh, um, the famous Paul has always been beautiful. Me and John used to have a problem. Really? Yes. Why? Well, he would do things in the room and lock the door, and I couldn't. Then he would fan, jump in there and fan himself all the time. Fan himself. So he would do some things, and then he would fan it all over the room. Oh, I see. It, like a sort of, I think it's called a Dutch oven. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I don't know what the oven was, but it sure was cooking. Yeah. <laughs> what about? So, you know, you're, you're starting out in rock and roll. You, you were, you're a young guy, a young black man in the South. How do you get to, to, to appear in clubs and get for it? It can't have been easy for you. Well, um, um, being a young boy in, in Macon, I'm from Georgia, Macon, yeah. Georgia, and, and my, my dad uh, was, we, we was, my mother had 12 children, and my dad was what they call a bootlegger. He sold whiskey. They call it uh, uh, white lightning, and if you're black, they call it black thunder. thunder. And, but it was whiskey that they made out in the woods. And so 
I, I would sing around the place and play, play the piano and stuff, but you, you couldn't go in any white place at all. Not, it was like an apartheid. You, if I wanted a sandwich, even after I got famous, if I wanted a sandwich, I had to go to the kitchen door of the restaurant and ask for a sandwich. Really? I couldn't go, not go in the front. And if I had to go to the bathroom, I couldn't go in no bathroom. They had on a white only. And the bathroom they had for black was the bathroom that white used to have, but when it broke down, they gave it to the blacks. Yeah. And, and the toilets wouldn't flush, and it was horrible in there. And, and so we couldn't stay in no hotel. We had to, I slept in the car. We, uh, I get to an auditorium and couldn't even use the dressing room uh, to dress in there. I was going to play there, so I would dress in my car. And they wouldn't let you use the dressing room the, you where you were going to play? No, you couldn't even use it. That's kind of... It was like that in Las Vegas. You couldn't stay in the hotel. They put you on a trailer. Really? Yes. They don't do that to you anymore, though. Oh, no. No, God, no, not no. now. <laughs> not now, Mr. Hall of Famer. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, if they did that to me now, I'd scream like a white woman. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and a white lady said, woo! And a black lady said, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I was at the uh, People's Choice Awards mm -hmm. on Sunday night, mm -hmm. and I saw Prince there. Mm -hmm. Are you his dad? <laughs> You know, I, I wish he was here now. I put him across my lap and spank him real good. All right. He'll, pro he'll probably like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think he may uh, scream like a white woman. <laughs> like that. I'm sure he has yeah. already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, but you know, I, I, I'm, re I'm really mad with, I'm mad with Prince because a few weeks ago he had a big write-up on me in the paper in New York and I thought it was horrible. He said that all, to get Little Richard to record, all you have to do is give him a bucket of chicken. I thought that was horrible. That's not very nice. No, That's that was horrible. Nice. I don't even, I'm, I'm a vegetarian. Well. <laughs> and and I, said, I said, my God. And you know, this is not bad. I'm 72 years old. No. And God has been good to me. No. Fantastic. Listen, we have to take a commercial break. When we come back, will you sing a song for I'll the folks? I'll be very glad. Thank you so much. We'll be right back with Little Richard. Thank you.